Bouncy jibing you immediately associate with stiff legs. But hark, Wally's legs are flexed and he now has the video to prove it. So is the old cry of bend the knees really such good advice? You know, Alan, one of the main problems with this jibing business is just the way people bend the knees. I mean, you go for one now. Do you feel committed? Oh, not really, no. Well, look, yeah, because you're bending your knees, but all that's happening is just squatting down over the board like you were, um, well, I can't say, really. See, the real feeling of jibing should be like, sort of, um... Uh, Whoa! <laughs> that's it! I see. <laughs> A strange analogy for sure, but if you can imagine your reaction were someone to poke you in the derriere with a rake, well that's the position for your jibing entry. The knees drive forward to take your body away from the offending article, and look, he's even thrown his arms out straight. So in the absence of a rake, drop forward and think about bending the ankles rather than the knees, so the knees end up pushing towards the foot of the sail. But, and I bet you're fed up with butts. Even with the sharpest instrument of torture threatening his body, Wally will still have trouble bending and driving forward due to this most ruinous of all carving sins, heating back on the rig with bent arms, a habit which is guaranteed to kill your speed at the moment you most need it. Here lies a crossroads in your career. So far when you've been windsurfing, in fact right up to level three and a half, you've always had a counterbalance. That means when the rig's pulled you, you've pulled against it. But if you do that in the carve job, you end up just falling off the back. So for the first time in your windsurfing career, when you feel the rig pull you, you've got to go with it, like this. Well hell, Jeff. So here it is, the make or break moment of the carve jibe. You're unhooked, the back foot is out, you bear away, the sail loads up and wants to pull you forward, so do you do a wall and heave it back, or do you let it pull you? But if you keep your front arm straight and go with it, you let the board accelerate and end up in position A. Weight forward and committed to the inside in perfect shape to dominate that inside edge. Wall at the same stage, remember, was about 45 degrees further aft and about to depart via the back door. But with the body forward, anticipating the turn, you keep your weight away from the tail during the carve and when you come to change the feet. Letting the rig pull you forward is all very...